Thank you, Maura. Now, the farmer's market is truly a magical place. And speaking of magic, this week was magical for television news. As Alana told us earlier, HBO Max announced that their new streaming service, Max, will feature a new live-action Harry Potter series. Here to talk all things about The Boy Who Lived is the man who is live, our TV reporter, Charlie Goldberg. Now, Charlie... As a huge Harry Potter fan myself and a huge Charlie Goldberg fan, I'm so happy to be sitting down with you today. So, Charlie, HBO pulled a rabbit out of the hat with this one, truly. So, tell us, what do we know so far about the series? Yeah, definitely. So, with the all-new announcement of a brand new streaming platform, Max came the announcement that it will be home to a brand new Harry Potter series. The series will have seven seasons, each of which will emulate the work from a different J.K. Rowling novel. And looking into this further, it's going to have a different cast of actors and actresses playing the roles we all love so dearly. Another big thing to look into here is the fact that the show will have the same budget as Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon. HBO and Max really want this to be one bippity boppity banger of a series. Wow. So it looks like HBO is really putting a lot of effort into this series. So I know you mentioned that there's going to be a new cast in the show. And I have to know, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, so a lot of people are upset that Daniel Radcliffe will not be returning as Harry Potter, which makes sense. It'll be very weird seeing somebody else that isn't Daniel Radcliffe in this role. However, I think it's a good thing. Why is that? Well, what made Harry Potter special for me was the fact that when I grew up, I watched Harry Potter as the actors and actresses grew up. And with that being said, they matured while I, well, someone matured. Anyway, looking into this further, this is what's going to happen to a new fan and a new generation of muggles watching the series. They're going to mature with a younger, fresher cast. I love your take on that situation. And just circling back to the series itself, you mentioned that there's going to be a full season covering each novel, yet most of the Harry Potter films were able to cover a book in like two to four hours. So just real quick, how are they going to stretch these stories to make it a full series? Yeah, this is definitely a big concern for Harry Potter fans out there, and I get it. But the thing is, what they're not looking into is the fact that J.K. Rowling's novels are so vast and covered in detail and stories and elements that not all of it was able to be adapted onto the movie screens. Now looking into this further, you're going to see that there's going to be a lot of new elements and storytelling and characters that is all going to come its way onto the series. It's going to be a true adaptation of the series we all love so greatly. Well, that sounds amazing, Charlie. I'm so excited for it. Thank you so much for being here today. And coming up on Unpeeled, University Union announced their annual block party lineup, earning some mixed reviews. You don't want to miss it. We'll be right back on Peelers.